Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be doing a comparison between the Nightcore NU25 360 lumen Mark 1 and the Nightcore NU25 400 lumen 2022 model Mark 2. So there's going to be we're at first a list of features and then some high quality night shots just in like my A-list headlamp video that I did. I'm going to be joined by professional photographer Jason Friend who last time did a fabulous job of getting great quality night shots, in fact the best I've ever seen. And then I'm going to bring you back and go through the pros and cons of each and finally, what I feel are the best applications for these headlamps. Are they worthy as a main carry or just a backup or occasional use? So stick around and let's get into it. So the features. They're both pretty similar really in terms of size and weight. They're both around 50 grams. There's very minimalistic difference between them. This one has got the full headband on, the Mark I. The Mark II is available with the headband as well, but I opted for what's called the ultra light version that has this very versatile uh, elastic head strap to it. They're both pretty compact with the Mark II being a slightly larger form factor and they both have a angle adjustable tilt. I think it feels a little bit more substantial on the Mark II. And I'm comparing these because the Mark I is still available. Cost-wise, they're both fairly similar, although looking recently, the Mark I seems to be a little bit more expensive. In the UK, this is available for around £30, but if you buy it direct from AliExpress, it's more like 25. The build quality is very good. I would say on the Mark II, the plastic feels a little bit more high quality, which I like, and I think it looks a little bit more conventional as well. Now, as regards charging, the Mark I was the old micro USB, and the Mark II has USB-C, which is inherently faster. They both have a charge indicator with the Mark 1. It's a case of a long press on the red button and you get a series of flashes. Three flashes there means above 50%, two flashes means below 50% and one flash means 10%. And with the Mark 2, you've got a much more useful four blue light system, each representing around 20% of power. From a stealth perspective, you can press the red light on the Mark 1 and go straight to that. Or if you press the power button on the Mark 2, you go to red light. General operation wise on the Mark 1, the red light goes from low to high to a beacon mode. The on button goes to low, mid, high, and then press and hold for turbo and that's the 360 lumen mode. If you press and hold the red button you get nothing, beg your pardon. If you press and hold the power button you get the high CRI which means colour rendered so it's supposed to give good daylight representation. but. I got that slightly wrong there and I think it kind of like amplifies the slightly confusing operation of the, of the Mark 1. The Mark 2 has got a much better operating system. The Mark 2 has got a much better operating system. So it's a much larger operating button and if you just press on there you'll go straight to this double mode which is flood and spot and then you scroll up to mid and then high which is the four combined and the right button takes you through the various modes so this will be spot 
that's flood and that's red. So we're on a beautiful starlit night down in my local woods. It's a gorgeous uh, ancient woodland of uh, elm and birch and my friend Jason, Jason Friend, who's a professional photographer, has kindly agreed to do some quality night shots. So I've got the Mark 1 MU25 and the Mark 2 MU25. So how is your YouTube channel doing Jason? Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe. <laughs> so have a look at Jason's uh, channel. It's fantastic. Jason Friend Photography. Loads of content there. Loads of really good pro tips. And he's uh, a super friendly, fun guy. Comes across a bit serious on his channel for some reason. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun to be with. So on with the beam shots. <laughs> Whilst I'm still looking at Pratt with two head torches on my head, I just wanted to talk briefly about funds I'm trying to raise via Buy Me A Coffee to buy a Garmin Inreach Mini 2 GPS meshing device. And this is in my role as a scout mountain leader. I take a lot of scouts out into the hills and there's a lot of uh, activities I do out in the hills that you don't see because I can't share them in YouTube because I'm doing them with the scouts and uh, we've got to protect their, their images. But uh, I'm raising funds to buy a InReach Mini 2 that I'll be purchasing from GPS training here in the Northeast, uh, a link below. So uh, if you wanted to buy me a coffee, it would go towards funds to buy that. I'll be using my own money to keep up the Garmin subscription, but funds that I raise through YouTube Buy Me Coffee will go to buying the device itself. So thanks very much. So what are the best applications for these? So undoubtedly these will very much appeal, appeal to the ultralight and uh, backpackers. So for me, the Mark I has been safely ensconced in my first aid kit, just coming out occasionally. I want to know when I'm in a first aid or emergency situation, I've got access to light at any time. So that's been living in there and uh, gets use occasionally as a backup when I'm backpacking. Now the Mark II now is going to be my main nighttime dog walking and uh, the reason that is mainly is because it'll live very nicely on the bag that I carry and uh, the versatility of the head strap 
means that I can kind of like cinch it down onto a strap and it's going to be absolutely great for that. And also I'm very much going to consider this being, being my primary light for summer backpacking, i.e. when I'll just need it uh, late at night or uh, in the night, but I wouldn't use it personally as my main night or winter backpacking overnight camping light. It'll there be there as a backup, definitely, uh, but not as the primary light in winter for me. Some of you may, may disagree. Uh, the main reasons being is, uh, despite it having uh, decent power, you can't carry a spare battery. So I'll still be using in winter for backpacking and for night navigation my Phoenix HMR 65 which is extremely powerful and I always carry a spare battery for that and this will definitely be coming along as a backup and it's going to be my primary night down the woods with the dogs. One of them's in the back around there. Okay so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe Please have a look at Jason Friend Photography below. He's got a fabulous YouTube channel and there's loads of great hints and tips there for landscape photography, use of cameras. He's got some great videos and it's increasing in volume. So like and subscribe to Jason as a priority. Like and subscribe to this channel if you want to. Please have a look again at the buy me a coffee thing and the funds I'm raising. I don't usually ask this sort of thing, but you know, it's Christmas and I don't get paid for doing the scouts and it's hard work. And uh, finally, have a look at the GPS trainings website and they've got a lot of great tips on their YouTube channel as well about the use of GPS and communication devices. So thanks very much for watching and happy Christmas and so that's coming up and happy new year for whatever time you're watching this. Cheers.